everybody, it's Dr. D, and today I'm going to be talking about how to create a digital escape room. A digital escape room is a digital document that students are solving problems and working collaboratively, and every time they solve a problem, they get to go to the next problem. So it gamifies instruction because they're typically competing against other students in the classroom or perhaps working collaboratively to problem solve. And they have to kind of get the clues and the code so that they can solve each of the problems. So it's a fun way to get kids to practice skills or reinforce concepts that you're teaching. And certainly you can do this in all subject areas, but today I'm going to be show showing you a digital escape room I created for math. This one is focused on multiplying and dividing integers. So this is the back end of a Google document. This is the Google form that I've created, um, and I'll share a copy of this if you'd like to reuse it. I've, I'm doing a Valentine's theme because I love to do escape rooms um, right around the holidays because I can still get students to do work, even though they're really excited about being with their friends and eating lots of candy. So using a Google form, you create the instructions for your students. And you can see here, this first question is, what is the name of your team members? And what I've done is to make it like appealing for my students. So I've created a theme. This is a Valentine's theme. And I've also included the name of the, the middle school. Um, and uh, I've created these different images on a Google slide deck. And that way, all I need to do is add an image for each of these questions in Google Forms so that students think that they're actually in a Google escape room and not taking a quiz. Because <laughs> if they just see a regular Google Form, it's not going to be as fun, right? So here's what the first puzzle actually looks like. Let's talk about this. They are going to get four problems that is part of this puzzle. So you'll want to tell your students you have to solve each of those four problems and then you'll see the answer choices and so the students can't just guess the answer they have to actually work out the problem and i usually give you know series there's four questions there's nine answers um, and so i typically you know put the answer the correct answer in there and then put similar answers that way i know that they're actually doing the work now, the way that they can go and move on and get validation, right? And that's really the key with these digital escape rooms is the students are getting immediate feedback. When they solve the problem, they get an immediate response that they've done it correctly. And certainly that's really exciting for kids, right? Um, so if you can see here, this question um, that I've, I'm showing you, I have my prompt at the top. It's a short answer. And then... I have my image that I, I'm going to show you where how I've made that in Google Slides in a moment. And what you do so that the students don't see all the questions at once and they get the validation is that you make it required and they have to have to have this validation response here. So I've selected text because I want them to pick the letter that corresponds with the answer. And so as you can see here, this is the answer. If they don't get the answer correctly, then they'll get a message saying, keep trying, you can do it. And if they get it correctly, they will again, move on to the next section. We'll get validation, you did it, you completed, you've unlocked the first puzzle. Here's the second puzzle. Again, I'm doing a theme of different classrooms. So they're in their English language arts classroom now. Um, and they complete that puzzle that door opens, they get that image, they get that immediate response. Then they go to the third puzzle, they're in their science class for more problems. They answer those four problems and they get that third door open and then they get their last door. It's their math class with the most challenging puzzles yet. So in all, they've done 16 problems okay working collaboratively which is great i've increased the cognitive demand of the problem so the first first two problems are pretty easy but when you get to the last puzzle four it requires a little bit more um critical thinking um and then once they've finished this last puzzle they've unlocked all of the doors 
and I'm going to give them a chocolate for all their hard work, of course, right? And then I've asked them to reflect. Share three things that you learned this week about rational numbers. So kind of that's with the back end. And if you're not familiar with Google Forms, definitely check out um, the YouTube channel because I show you step-by-step step how to actually create a Google Form. But this is how quick and easy you can do a escape room. Now, in terms of the um, images, what I did was I just created a Google slide deck and I just took a screenshot of each of these slides when I completed them. Um, and even though you saw four different puzzles with four different rooms, all I really did was just copy the slide and, you know, just paste over it. So it wasn't that much work. And finally, if you want to see the final product, let's take a look at what it looks like. So you can actually preview it here. So again, the students will type their name. They get to their first puzzle. AFEC, click next, they did it. Then they have to click next again as indicated in the directions. They're on puzzle two, let's just say. Oh, keep trying, you can do it. You can enter the right answer choices. Click next. Puzzle to complete. Fun, easy way to digital digitize learning. And again, once you've made one digital escape room, you can just copy it, you can duplicate it, you can change the questions and continue to keep your students engaged. Thanks so much for watching this video. Feel free to leave a comment in the video if you have any questions or if you'd like to see some other videos, I'd be happy to create them. Don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks so much for watching.